Evaluating the sustainability of primary flight training in relation to a commercial pilot shortage. An oral presentation and SWOT analysis for the Aeronautical Science Capstone Course ACSI 490. Background and scope of the project. The problem presented in the research is that primary flight training is unsustainable in relation to a commercial pilot shortage. In the past, AOPA presented findings of high dropout rates of student pilots, which would hinder pilot population growth and aggravate the pilot shortage. The research was limited by the quantity, scope, and quality of data publicly available at the time of the study by the FAA, NTSB, and other industry sources. The research findings were that recent year dropout rates have declined to nearly sustainable levels. As of 2018, dropout rates were below 40%, while in 2010, AOPA announced a dropout rate of up to 80%. Standards and regulatory changes, which went into effect in 2016, may have improved flight training sustainability volume. New Certified Flight Instructors, or CFIs, show correlations to volume and safety sustainability in flight training. The research does not reveal causation for the correlation. Safety and competency has not improved since the 2016 changes went into effect, even though pilot output has. Recommendations presented in the research include additional industry focus on CFIs. The aviation and flight training industry should enhance CFI training and improve working conditions to increase CFI retention. Additional research and data are needed to evaluate correlations more fully in the future. Challenges to the proposed recommendations include industry acceptance, economic and time costs, and available resources. Program outcome number eight, aviation, aerospace, and aeronautical science. Two primary factors discussed in this research are the pilot shortage and flight training. Industry leaders have forecasted a shortage of commercial pilots over the next two decades. Boeing has predicted a need for an additional 212,000 pilots in North America by 2038. This is due to factors including pilot retirement, increased traffic, and low pilot population growth rates. The Government Accountability Office, or GAO, also suggests poor wages and working environment may play a role in the pilot shortage. Outcomes of a pilot shortage to the industry would include dropped airline routes, grounded aircraft, high pilot turnover, and the after effects of these events. Additionally, a pilot shortage would disrupt the traditional pilot flow. Traditional pilot flow is from student pilot up through various ratings until the pilot reaches the regional airline as a first officer. Being a CFI is often a vital step in earning the required hours to earn an ATP or airline transport pilot certificate. Alternatively, pilots may fly for executive, corporate, or other operations. Flight training is linked to the pilot flow through the CFI. A pilot shortage at the regional level could result in overhiring of CFIs. The research revealed a close correlation between active or new CFIs to new pilot output. To reduce a pilot shortage, it is important to ensure efficient and sustainable flight training. High dropout rates reduce efficiency. Industry changes and evolving aircraft can change flight training needs and expectations for competency and safety. Sustainable flight training increases safe and competent pilot output while reducing the pilot shortage and its associated problems. Program outcome number nine, aviation legislation and law. The FAA regulates airmen and flight operations through Title 14 of the Code of Federal Regulations, or 14 CFR. Part 61 of 14 CFR regulates airmen certification and instructors. Part 91 regulates general aviation operations. And Part 141 regulates flight schools. There are other parts which regulate specific flight operations as well. Since the 14 CFR are legally binding regulations, any changes or modifications must be preceded by a Notice of Proposed Rulemaking, or NPRM. The NPRM takes time and resources to implement. The FAA and their acting groups must allow for comments and consideration from the public and industry. After the comment period is complete, the final rule can be announced. At times, there are unintended outcomes from new rules. For example, the project considers the non-expiring student pilot certificate as a variable in sustainability. The non-expiring FAA-issued certificate was made law for security reasons. Likewise, the requirement change for regional first officers to hold an ATP certificate rather than a commercial certificate changed the traditional pilot flow. 
There are exceptions when industry changes can occur without regulatory change. Another variable of flight training sustainability evaluated in the project was the Airman Certification Standards, or ACS. The change to ACS from PTS, or Practical Test Standards, did not change the 14 CFR. Therefore, it did not require an NPRM. Industry-led changes also do not require a legal intervention. However, they are not binding and may be less effective. Rulemaking can be time-consuming and have unintended outcomes. However, not all modifications require rule changes. Program outcome number 10, aviation safety. The number of instructional accidents and rates have increased since 2016. Fatal instructional accidents are more likely to occur with an instructor in the plane. Many fatal accidents are during maneuvers, which are often with instructors on board. CFIs are the foundation of safety since they teach the next generation of pilots. The rule of primacy states that what is learned first will have the strongest influence on the pilot. Statistically, a correlation was found between the number of newly certificated CFIs and the number of fatal instructional accidents in the same year. Another interesting statistical correlation was that since 2014, there has been a correlation of 0.94, in other words, nearly a perfect line, between average knowledge test scores for private pilot and the number of total instructional accidents for the same year. The correlation shows that years with higher average test scores had a greater number of instructional accidents. These correlations should be further investigated. Since loss of control or LOC is a leading cause of fatal instructional accidents and general aviation accidents, training should be enhanced to consider it. Improved LOC prevention in a simulator for CFIs during their CFI training could reduce fatalities. CFI training should be enhanced to reduce LOC fatal accidents. Research evaluating student pilot knowledge and accidents should be conducted. Program outcome number 11, aviation management and operations. The pilot shortage could result in dropped routes, grounded aircraft, pilot turnover, and ultimately lost revenue and thinner profit margins. It has been recently noted that higher wages are capable of reducing a pilot shortage problem within an organization. Higher wages also increase operating costs. The pilot shortage also affects pilot flow. Mainline air carriers recruit pilots from regional airlines. Regional airlines recruit from flight schools. Low CFI retention reduces the ability to train new CFIs. In short, Fewer pilots equal higher competition, which results in greater pilot turnover. On the other hand, greater numbers of active CFIs result in higher pilot output. Improved flight school management in the form of better wages and working conditions for CFIs may result in lower turnover. Improved CFI training, which enhances safety, may result in higher quality services to student pilots as well. Better CFI services result in higher rates of training completion and lower dropout rates. While improving flight school management would improve the business, it also increases costs and raises barriers. It may also result in higher training costs for students. It is possible that the quality and safety benefits along with savings from lower turnover could justify the cost for both flight school management and student pilots. Reversing the pilot shortage is dependent on pilot flow. Pilot flow is dependent on sustainable training and sustainable flight training is dependent on CFI quality, retention, and safety. Project recommendation, strength, weakness, opportunity, and threat analysis. Strengths include an increase in pilot output from flight training with improved competency and safety, better working environment and wages for CFIs, resulting in lower CFI turnover, and higher quality training. This would increase the direct beneficiaries over recruitment or flying scholarships since CFIs would be benefited plus all their students and the flight training facility. Weaknesses of the recommendations include added barriers for CFIs and flight schools. This would include economic costs, time to complete training, and resources needed to do enhanced training, including simulators. Increasing operating costs would likely increase student costs. The positive outcomes may not be to the expected level or have the intended results. It is also possible that the current level of progress towards sustainable flight training will not last, decreasing overall improvement. 
external opportunities include the possibility to encourage future industry changes. If implemented with positive outcomes, higher wages and increased safety training may become more common in aviation. Measurable success in safety outcomes may result in improved industry-wide safety culture. This could be the result of newly trained pilots bringing safety culture with them, or others in the industry adopting what has worked in flight training. Overall positive results in CFI enhancements could have a natural side effect of a good reputation for aviation and promote the industry to newcomers. On the other hand, there are threats present. Increasing CFI retention could pose a short-term threat to the pilot supply flow into regional airlines. As with any changes, there are also risks of unintended and unforeseen consequences. Economic or aviation industry changes may reduce planned effectiveness of any enhancements made in the flight training industry. It is also likely that there will be some industry pushback since enhancing CFI employment and training will change the pilot flow and increase costs and barriers. Focusing on the underlying factors of flight training, mainly the CFI, will cost the industry time, money, and other resources. The industry may push back on regulations requiring changes. However, industry-led changes could improve CFI retention. Due to a constantly evolving aviation industry, flight training sustainability should be regularly evaluated. References used in this oral presentation.